What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Do you have any idea what kind of watch you should buy if you have a pocket? Trick question. The answer is a pocket watch. And I picked this up. I found this. It's Minchada. And uh, just got here. Look at this. We get a little microfiber cloth, uh, some paperwork as always. Oh, an instruction manual. Hand wound watches must be wound. Uh, all right. Well, that's cool. Uh, I'm not sure that this is a winding watch. I thought it might actually be quartz movement, but uh, it is a pocket watch. And, you know, I've just been kind of fascinated with these relatively inexpensive pocket watches. They're kind of a lot of style. You might be into the hipster scene or something like that. You just want kind of that old-fashioned railroad feel. And <laughs> pocket watches are cool. They will get attention and people will ask you about them. We do have, like, the pocket chain here, which is actually pretty nice. It's kind of the, it's like this dark bronzed finish. Uh, this will, this little bar kind of usually goes into a shirt buttonhole. That's kind of where it would <laughs> stick. And then this would attach to the watch if you are into this thing. We've got the foam there. And then we've got the watch right here. Oh, and going to take everything apart. And then we also have ooh, another chain here. And this is a much thicker chain. And again, you can see here, the watch would attach here. And then this would usually clip onto something like your belt or in your pocket. So you do have a couple of chains right here. Boom. All right. So without further ado, let's take a look at the watch. It's tiny. Look at this. It's really small. So uh, sometimes the pocket watches get big. I mean, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say it's small. It's like typical pocket watch size. So, you know, it's going to be able to be hidden in your hand here. And what you can see here is it's got like a black chrome type look to it, man. Really, <laughs> really quite nice. Like I said, not expensive. You can see how shiny it is. And I really like that look. I love this look on like car wheels too. You can see here, this is where you'll clip on your chain. So you have a nice big loop up here. Then you have an onion style crown up top. And you can see this, the center here is cut out. So we have some, you know, stamped in, molded in or cast etchings. This would kind of be hand engraved back in the day. You can see Roman numerals here surround the little window. And then the window will pass all the way through. And then very shiny backside to it. In fact, it's shinier than it, you'd think because I haven't even taken off the plastic. Woo! Shiny. You can see the hinges down here, so it's going to open up the top. So I'm going to hit this button and see which way this opens up. Okay, so it opens up the front. You can see we kind of have, it's not machine turned, but it's just kind of pressed in or molded in a circular pattern here. But it's kind of gives it that machined turned metal finish look. And you can see here how that Hole passes through and then we have oh even more plastic plastic all over uh, plastic crystal as you can see here domed you can hear that it's plastic and on the inside here we have a skeletonized watch movement and I guess this sucker is I mean do I dare say that it's a actually a mechanical movement so I'm gonna open up the back here same finish on this side but now we have an exhibition back and again, that uh, that stamped in, molded in etching type. And then you can see all the way through, look at that, we have like gold and silver toned mechanical pieces. So guess what, dude? This is a mechanical watch. I'll be honest, I've gotten some of this stuff before and I've always figured they were, you know, this is all like flourish and it's a dial face to make it look like an old school watch, but it's a quartz movement underneath. That is not true. These instructions are straight up accurate in the fact that this is a mechanical watch. You can see it there. Nice sweeping hand. You know, the, the um, let me see if I can really get in on that for you there. You can see some of the machine marks and whatnot, but in the jewels there. Um, that is actually really fascinating. Golly, I'm really fascinated by that. And let's take a close look at the dial here. We have some some pattern on that outer chapter ring. We have the Roman numerals and the logo, the Machado logo up here, kind of in this iridescent, uh, kind of almost anodized blue, which like it's like that blue to finish you might see on the screws of movements. And this top piece here where we also have some flourishes is also in that beautiful blue. The blue is on the hands. Looks like we might even have some loom here and a, um, a counterbalance pip on there. I'm pretty impressed with this thing. And then the gold, I think the blue and the gold is really nice. You know, especially if you're a U University of Michigan fan. Let's just go out. I mean, that's that's pretty cl clever, man. And again, you can press this button 
and open up the case and see the time. But even when it's closed, you can see that time right in the, uh, the exhibition kind of opening there. So, wow, dude, I'm stunned by this. Like I said, not expensive, but a mechanical watch with I think a lot of design. Check this sucker out. I am way more impressed with this than I was expecting. A hand wound mechanical watch for the price uh, of a quartz movement is kind of amazing. I'll put a link to this in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.